in South Africa, naturally a water-scarce country, currently facing a spate of water shortages, two hours' drive from Johannesburg, Jericho Village, situated in the municipality of Madibang, which means a place of water, has had running water since the country's transition to democracy, and yet not seen a drop in 27 years. Water will never come out of these taps again. The taps have rusted. Like many parts of rural South Africa, urbanization has forced most young people to the cities and towns. Jericho today resembles a nursing home, with every second residence housing at least one elderly person and equipped with a water tank. Water is sold and delivered by road. Eva Zulu was born in Jericho and had to move back here in 1988 to care for her parents during their last days. Today, she lives in the village, navigating the water supply, a laborious undertaking for the wheelchair-bound Eva, who also cares for her bedridden husband. You see, our kids bought us this tank so that when we have a little bit of money, we can buy water and store it in there. Despite protests or an order from the Human Rights Commission, and even after placing the municipality under administration four times since 2006, hope has also run dry. Requests to comment by African News correspondent in Jericho, Northwest Province, Carabo Terence, were ignored by the mayor's office.